Hey there, everybody. So before we build um, this really cute ice cream cone paper craft, I need to show you what you need to do when you load the files into Design Space. So um, we're gonna walk through that real quick. There's a few different ways you can set up your files. Um, so I'm gonna go over to the Upload button here. And I've already uploaded um, some of my images, but I'm gonna walk you through a couple different examples. So in the free files for these, you will have an SVG file which just comes with the, um, the cone and the ice cream scoop actual geometric shapes that will build the 3D ice cream cone. And then you're also gonna have some extras like some patterns like sprinkles, chocolate chips, and um, you'll also have the shape of the ice cream cone as a print and cut with some patterns already overlaid for you as well. So there's a lot of different options to work with here. Um, I'm just going to walk you through exactly like the different options that you can upload here. So I'm going to browse my computer here real quick and um, there'll be like some patterns in there like these sprinkles or these chocolate chips if you want to do like mint chocolate chip ice cream my personal favorite and um, then I also have some print and cut images um, which are already ready to go with some um, some of the um, patterns laid out in a very special way that you won't be able to do inside of Design Space alone. So for example, if you wanted to upload this strawberry ice cream one, you would click on that, which is a PNG image. It's not a vector file. It's not an SVG. It's a PNG image. And it will load like this. Go ahead and make sure you select complex, the bottom option, and then hit continue. And just hit continue here. You don't need to do anything. Make sure the green box is selected around the colored one, not the outline one. Hit save. And it'll be uploaded here and you can go ahead and click on that and insert the image here. And it might load kind of large. Now for print and cut, um, or print then cut, I'm sorry. I always say print and cut, it's print then cut. Um, you are going to need, make sure that you need to stay within a certain range. If you look over here in our layers panel, it has a little like warning error over here. And what that basically means is Cricut does not let you do print and cut images um, past a certain size. So I think it's like 9.25 by 7.25 is the biggest it will go. I really hope they change that in the future because I would like to do larger print and cut images. But for now, I shrink mine down to 9.2 by 5 inches and then that little error over here in our layers panel went away and we would now be able to do this as a print then cut. But if we just sent this to our printer right now and then loaded it into Cricut Design Space, we would have left out an important part and that is the scoring lines. So you need to bring those in separately. Now, the tricky part is, is we're gonna have to overlay them onto this, and it's really not that hard. It's just a matter of making sure you zoom in and you line everything up. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Some of you might be wondering, well, why can't you just have the score lines over this? And the reason that is, is because this is considered a pattern fill, print thin cut, PNG, or JPEG image. And Cricut will not let you load an SVG image into Design Space with both vector and pattern filled images. So it can only load one or the other. Um, so I couldn't load them in the same file. So you have to add the file on top of this print and cut image. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna go over to my upload button here. And this one right here that's already on my screen, the orange um, file with the little geometric shapes, that's our actual template. And I'm just gonna insert that. That's the uh, vector SVG file that's in the free files here. And um, make sure you keep everything that's here because I like to do kind of a double scoop ice cream. I like to do one where it's maybe just like a solid piece of cardstock for one scoop. And then I add one of these print then cut patterns as the top scoop to kind of um, add some variation and make it look kind of authentic and cute. So um, you can just do one without a pattern fill and just cut it straight out on your machine with like cardstock. And then you can do one with a pattern fill if you want to. And you'll see what that looks like in my video when we're actually assembling this in a few moments. Um, so once we bring this in, you need to ungroup it. Let's just go ahead and hide this right now. I'm going to regroup these, and hide that. Okay, and I'm going to select this background orange piece here and I'm just going to hide that for now. And the parts that you will have left over here are these outlines of these pentagon shapes here. 
You'll also see a pentagon that's in the middle here and make sure you leave that because that's where we're going to do our perforation so that we can open our ice cream cone topper and get our candy inside. So this is like a cute little favor project here. So the part we need to do now is we need to put this over the top of this print then cut image that we're gonna be working on to tell Cricut that it needs to score and perforate in certain areas. But we need to make sure we align it. So make sure you go ahead and scale the print then cut where it needs to be first because Cricut will only let you cut that so large. So I've done that 9.2 by five. And then you go ahead and grab this. And when you grab this piece here, it probably will be ungrouped. Um, you can, if it's easier, you can group it. I generally just place it because we're going to need to change the lines a little bit and then I zoom in here. So what we need to do is we need to shrink this down and then we just need to line it up on the edges here. Now it may not line up 100% flawlessly but it should come pretty darn close. So let's see, I'm just going to pick in the side. It needs to get bigger here. And it won't be exactly the same size as the one below it. So if you're thinking, oh, I could just plug in the dimensions, it won't be exactly the same size because they're actually different shapes, different sizes by just a little bit, not by much, but they are a little bit different because the um, bottom layer has tabs and this top outline layer doesn't have tabs. So I'm looking here and that is pretty, pretty close. And these are just going to be score lines. So it's not going to be printing these. It's not going to be cutting these. They're going to be score lines. So everything looks like it's pretty well lined up there. You can use the edges as a guide to make sure you're placing this over. Now um, I'm going to click off here and I'm going to select just this pentagon here in the center portion and make sure this portion is going over the sprinkle area because that's where I would want um, to be the top and that's where I would want to give someone the option to punch through that perforation to access the candy inside. Um, so where it says line type up here towards the top left hand side, I want you to click on that and go down to perf, which stands for perforation. Of course you will need the maker and you will need the perforation um, quick swap tool um, for that as well. So make sure you have that in hand. Unfortunately, this does not work with Explore. I know that sucks, but um, unfortunately that's just the case. So we've changed this line to the perforation, which is where we'll be able to access our candy. And now these outline pieces here, we need to change to score. So I'm gonna select one of those and I'm gonna click on score. That's now been changed to score. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. Whoops, there we go go down to score. Okay, so now we have our score lines where we'll be able to fold all of that, which will help us assemble this. And then we have where we're gonna have our perforation. Now the last step here is just to select everything on your screen and use your attach button that's in the bottom um, right hand side. So now what's gonna happen is when we go to our cut screen, it's gonna ask us to send this to our printer. It's going to print it out minus the score lines and the perforation lines. And then once we load it into our Cricut, it's gonna ask you to uh, score first usually, then perforate, switch your perforation tool in, and then switch in your um, fine point blade to actually cut the silhouette of this out. So that's what you need to do for that. Um, and then I also want to show you real quick how to do an actual pattern fill. Um, you would also do the same before I show you the pattern fill. Let me, um, since we're on this topic already, let me hide this and come down here to the ice cream, uh, the ice cream cone, not the scoop. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to use this as my pattern fill example, I think. So, um, so you're going to need to do the same thing here. You're going to need to ungroup this. And for scaling, since this is going to be, well, this is going to be a print and cut too. Print then cut, sorry. Print then cut too. So um, you need to make sure you stay within those dimensions that Cricut Design Space allows, um, which I believe is 7.2 by 9. So I need to go down just a little. There we go. Okay, so um, we need to change these to score lines. And before we do that, I want to change, you could just do this, um, this whole orange piece here as like maybe just a 
pale yellow color or something like that that could be the color of a comb but if you wanted to have a fun pattern um, there's a way to add a pattern fill to it. So I like to use a waffle cone pattern, which um, if you happen to be a part of my um, course, The Cutting Edge Crafters, or you're watching it inside the course, um, this is um, a lesson I actually show you how to draw this entire pattern. I'm not gonna show you that here because that is for our students, but I'm gonna show you how to add it here to the pattern. Okay, so to upload a pattern fill, we go to the same upload button. <clears throat> Instead of selecting upload image, you'll um, select the upload pattern to your right hand side. So just click on that, go ahead and browse your computer. I'm going to use this fun waffle cone pattern. You'll also notice that I already have the cone as a PNG image if you just want to do it as a print then cut and you don't want to upload the pattern process, which is fine. Um, I like to upload the pattern process because um, it just turns out a little bit different and it's like edge to edge um, so you won't see anything overlap. So I'm going to select the waffle cone. Uh, you can name it or tag it if you want to. Just click save. Now, this part, um, it's going to kind of like maybe take a second to load and then it's going to say pattern upload successful. You're not going to see it here in your image library. See, there's no um, waffle cone pattern uploaded there. Um, you're going to actually need to go to your patterns panel on the canvas. So let's go back to canvas. Just click canvas at the top left hand side. It'll take you back. Go ahead and select that orange underlay piece underneath the outlines that we're gonna to turn to score lines. And where it says fill, right now it says no fill. Click that button and click on print. Then where it's the little creamsicle orange color, click on that and instead of having color selected, click that drop down and select pattern. It'll take a second probably to load and you should see your waffle cone pattern or whichever pattern you might have uploaded. You can see I did the chocolate chip one here. Um, it will be there so go ahead and click on that and it'll just take a second to load and then it will cover that exact outline of that waffle cone we have there now again we have Cricut telling us that our entire piece here is a little too large so let's shrink that down just a little bit there we go all right a little error sign went away so the last thing to do here is just to go ahead and turn these to score lines. There's no perforation for this part. It's just, um, you can use the scoring wheel or the scoring stylus. Um, so you're going to go ahead and grab that and go up to line type and down to oops, score. There we go. So now we have our score lines here. So it's gonna just give us lines to easily fold and make sure everything looks nice and crisp and neat when we go ahead and print this out. And then of course the last step is to select everything and use that attach button again in the layers panel, bottom right hand side. And then you can go ahead and send this to your printer and print it out. So that's the back end work that you would need to do for setting up your patterns with your ice cream cone and your print thin cut and all of that. But um, Anyways, that's how you do that and go ahead and um, head over to part two of this video where we can assemble this really cute um, ice cream cone favor and I'll show you how to put the candy in it and everything else that I do there.